Welcome to another Nature's Glory Cabin Off-Road Edition. Today we are still back in the backcountry byway meet, 9-15-20 through the fall meet. Uh, this is day two, the final trail of the day, Pumpkin Holler. And you can see here where we came out of Frenchburg from uh, Wayne Benson actually, and we went and got on Pumpkin Holler and came back all the way to Cali's campground. So this is going to be an abbreviated one. We're going to have things shortened up a little bit. Just most of the excitement. We've just turned off of 713 here. This is uh, where the trail starts. There are rental cabins or something up to the right. So we're going to bear off to the left right here so you know where to go. Most of this one is just slightly sped up. Uh, some of it's a little slower like right now where we're just getting into it. We did run into another person back here that was recording on a different day, so we see other people occasionally. It doesn't take too long before we start getting into some mud and ruts. There's a spot back here you need to make sure you bear to the right. It looks like you can go left or right. The trail is to the right. Again, I cut quite a bit of this out. Got a little bit of picture in a picture, but mostly I switched to uh, rear camera on some of the other things. So you can see a little rear camera right there. And we've got some side by side with the left front camera on the left front wheel. That's a Toyota Tacoma in front of me. I believe we have a uh, Tundra in the mix. There's a Suburban and uh, several other Jeeps as well. Now this is a spot where you bear to the right. Make sure you stay on the trail. And depending on here you're equipped, I mean I'm on 33s with a three and a quarter inch lift. Uh, all terrains with 33s can do this. Uh, some may find it a little more difficult than others. It's not real muddy today. Some of these ruts sometimes are slick and sometimes they're deeper than others. I didn't have much trouble today. I don't think anybody had much trouble. Um, and you can see the uh, pickup truck in front of me. He's fairly stock. And he goes right up it today. So I would rate this a 3, 4, maybe a 5 if you're more stock you're more than likely going to bang on something the more stock you are. Most of us are running mud tires. No winching involved on this day. We got Everybody got through it. Some people had to pick a different line. Sometimes there's not a lot of choice. That's a fairly deep rut. The camera does not do it justice. And there's a little bit of a flexi spot when you get to one place. We'll see that in a minute. I think it's coming up actually. And we're going to show that from the rear view camera coming up that hill. Get a little bit better perspective here. Uh, you can see it a little differently, the ruts a little bit. Again, the cameras are deceptive, they flatten it out. saw him take a pretty good dip there. I sped this up ever so slightly, about one and a half times. It's not very fast. So we're going to switch back to the front. We're going to go through this spot up here that's a little flexy. Uh, the right seems to be the best. If you go left, you end up with a little bit rougher transition getting out of it. I was trying to see how far right I could stay and it pulled me over into the rut. And you can see a little bit of it there, how it's uh, rutted here at the top and a little flexy spot there. But it's not much trouble. Looks like he had to back up and uh, either allow the guy in front of him a little bit more space or needed to hit it again. And here's that little flexy spot from the rear. See how it drops off into a washout there on the left side of that picture. And you see it's got a pretty good little bit of a hill there. 
and that's that other way you could come over and at the end you see this little bit more roots at the end a little harder transition getting out I've been on this uh, ride with stock vehicles we've had to pull a few of them up a couple of spots but for the most part a stock real four-wheel drive can do this I will switch back to the front here and move on coming up to another little rock ledge there's several of these and there's one big one at the end bigger I guess you can watch the left front tire climb those rocks Again, it had been pretty dry, so this was not a real muddy, sloppy day. I have seen it a lot worse. This is the direction that most people go in from uh, Menifee County to Powell County, Frenchburg to Slade. This is the direction most people do. And you can see there's some ruts here. You're not getting a good enough view of them. We'll see if the rear camera shows them better. And there's a couple of rocks in front of me there. I wasn't going as fast as it shows here, but I was giving it some gas to get up it. I have drug here before. The ruts didn't seem to be as deep today. And you can see that the depth of the ruts a little bit more there. And there's one of those rocks. I have a rear limited slip, which obviously I have no control over, but I have a front locker and I've done this many times without the front locker. I do use it a lot because it's not as hard on equipment, that way you have uh, your power and torque spread out more. Usually I do it when I have lesser equipped people with me to make sure that I can get up it the same way I'm expecting them to do it. And here's a little bit of rear action here again. We switch back and forth quite a bit here. We're really only doing this side. Uh, the other side has changed a lot. It's a lot smoother. I'll mention that when we get there. But this is the uh, rough side, the Menifee County side. You can see there's quite a few ruts and rocks and see me bouncing around a little bit there. Now we're coming up to the final and the biggest obstacle on it. It's a pretty good rock shelf that goes all the way across. If you watch the uh, pickup truck in front of me, he's going to go off to the right side of this, and I hit it more square. Notice where he went. He went high on the right, and he got up it with no trouble. I could have done that, but I didn't want to, so I just went straight over it. I've done it straight over with and without locker, so I can do it either one. And I'm going to show you a little more perspective of that, what that looks like. That's me standing in front of it uh, with the height of it behind me. And there's another picture of it without me standing there. Now we're going to crest the hill after we show this. From the rear, you'll see the uh, step up. You'll see the back end go down a little when I go up on the rock. And then you'll see it after I clear it. See me bounce a little bit there doesn't look like much from that angle now there's one more little rock here it's nothing to worry about we're gonna go right on up to the top and once we crest the top here we're gonna go down the other side I don't know if you've seen my other videos but this side has changed significantly uh, somebody has been in here with a dozer and leveled it all out the big mud holes like the mud hole I got stuck in last year on uh, New Year's Eve is gone it's smooth so everything's smooth. I left this spot in right here because this was rutted up pretty good and it had some pretty good sized mud holes in it. Again, somebody's been through here and smoothed it out. So we're going to, uh, after we get, this is right where they were. We get down to this curve at the bottom and that was the end of it. And then it's pretty smooth sailing. There's a little bit of mud, nothing to worry about, you know, four inches of mud, maybe something like that. And we're going to come up on a rock at the end that had a nice pool of water. And again, since they've been through here with a dozer or something, uh, they've made kind of a mess out of what was a pretty nice little pool of water. Maybe after a bunch of rain, it'll clear up and get nicer. 
but again you see there's really nothing here this is down that hill where the holes were like they were never there so when you turn that corner right there that's the end of where the roughest part of it would have was so we crested the hill came down the hill now we're heading out we're not going to have much more here I just want to show you the rock that has a little water pool next to it. It used to have a drop-off on the left. I don't believe the drop-off's there anymore. I believe they filled that in. And here it is. This was smooth, clean, pristine water. It's kind of muddy and murky now. We're getting close to the end here. When you come out of here, we're going to come past a couple of rental cabins. There'll be one right on the right. You won't see it in the video because it's off to the right. And then there are a couple, I don't know, three or four A-frame style cabins. And then on our way on out, there's other cabins. This is going to take you on out. This is the spot to the right here is the uh, bigger rental cabin. And you can vaguely see the others through the trees there. And we're going to come on out of here and uh, head on out and be on the main road come out on Upper Cane Creek, which is 599, we'll make a left to two thir excuse me, 613, take that across to 11 and back to Cali's. Hope everybody's enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.